Hey guys, and welcome back to The Legend of Zelda Twilight Princess. In the last part, we repaired, we repaired some bridges and we got two... Two moves that we got from the Golden Wolf. And in this part, uh... But well, before I go meet Russell down in Farron Woods, I would like to go back to Ka Kakariko Village. I think you pronounce it Kakariko Village. But either way, either way, we come back here because. Damn it! Somebody's gonna see me. Alright, here we go. So, if we come back here, we should be able to deliver some... If you recall, the guy over... Let's see, where? If you recall the guy over here, just in the southern part of... Ha Castle Town. Somebody needs hot spring water because there's some rocks over there. So if we, I think if we talk to this guy, I think we'll get that hot spring water over there. Yes, the uh, the bridge has been repaired, but the one fails to return. He's hanging his head somewhere around the west gate right at this moment. Here's my plan, brother. I will prepare some hot spring water, and you will dose that young one to revitalize him. What do you say? Yes, I will do it. I came here for that. Oh, I see. I am counting on you to make the run, my brother. Hot spring water cools as time passes, so if you do not hurry, you will end up with plain old water. Yeah. There's actually two Gorons who need hot spring water. Not one. So I just need to get over there without getting hit by enemies. In fact... Ah, he's throwing me off, but... I think I just need to run over there. These enemies are right on my tail. Ah! I think if I get hit, I'm done for. That's the real deal. I'm getting closer. <laughs> so there's more enemies coming. I, they are right there. Right there. Oh god. <laughs> I have no words to say for these enemies that are right on my tail right now. Alright, I actually got through there without a problem. Here's one of the Gorons that eats hot spring water. Yeah. Um, here you go. There you go. Hot spring water. I feel rejuvenated, that smell, that heat. It is spring water from back home. Well, I'm going to get back to work and open up the shop. Yeah, you do that. I think he's the one who sells hot spring water anyways. Oh, he's back. And with the bottle too. And since we do that, since we gave him hot spring water, we got a piece of heart. So 
that leads us to the other Goron that needs hot spring water. Because that Goron over there that is sitting on the west bridge, he's the one who sells the hot spring water, if I'm correct. Here we are on the west side. Huh. Okay. I noticed that the west side, the uh, instrumental songs on Castletown vary depending on which side you enter from. Here he is. Um, well, that's his son. <laughs> but this is the guy. Yeah. Wait. I need... Oh my god. I need rupees now. <sighs> what bugs do I have? Nothing. Alright, fine. I'll go get 20 rupees then. Somewhere. Okay, guys, I am back. Oh my god. You don't know how long it took for me to find 20 rupees. I had to go, like, underwater in Lake Hylia or something. Alright. So now I got hot spring water. one of our bottles. Good thing our bottles were empty. Otherwise, well, you know. There's a post soul right there. I'll get to that in a second. But we have to talk to this guy with hot spring water. Yes, I do. Of course I would. Anything to break these rocks. Go on, power, go! Well, I am going... I am going to get working on this, so... You should come back in a little while. So the next time we come back, that thing will be destroyed. Alright, so now... Actually, wait, no. I said I was going to get that Polo Soul, so I'll go get that first. Then I'll warp over to Farron Woods in our next objective to find... The next part of the Mirror of Twilight. You're done? Hey! That's not... Okay, I'm getting really annoyed with you. Of course! Give me that whole soul. Thank you. Oh my god. I'm so aggravated. I'm starting to, I'm so annoyed with those guys right now. It's not even funny. Alright, let's head over to Farron Woods because he also wants us to meet there. Still up by this time. All right. Um, where am I going? <laughs> All right. Here we are. There you are, my friend. It's been a while since we took a walk in the forest, huh? Yes. And how our world has changed.
say. Do you know about this far side of this deep gorge? Some say there is an ancient temple deep in the woods that guards a sacred power. The ancestors of the Hylians created the temple. Signs of their civilization, ancient but sophisticated, are everywhere. If someone could obtain the power of those ancient people, well, I'm sure it would go a long way towards saving Hyrule. Would you like to take on this task? Would you cross the gorge to find the ancient power sleeping in the temple? Yes, I would. I've been on a quest to do that. I knew you would. To cross the gorge, just use my partner here. Oh, we gotta use the... Bird? Oh, this? Golden golden rooster. Huh. Do you doubt my partner's skills? He flies like a dream. Believe me. Well, you will definitely make it across the gorge. Wait and see, my doubting friend. I have no doubts. I've done it before. And just like it, the, uh... Flight of Riches, we have to use the chicken to fly across. I don't think this... Okay, this was the right way to go. Okay. Alright. And good thing we have to, because we need to get across that bridge. Um, hold on. Let me get the boomerang. Because the wind, I don't think, is going to do anything with it now. Alright. So now we got to turn this bridge around. Hey! Why didn't that work? Did I not lock on right, or what? I don't know what's with my controls, or what's with me today, but this is not working out. As I thought it would. And there we go. We are back here at Sacred Grove. I'm gonna have to go inside with this chicken. I don't know if it's still going to be with me, though. We'll see. Nope, the chicken's gone. So what do we do now? Well, I'm going to have to save it for next time, unfortunately. But next time, we're going to have to... Do the same thing we did the first time here at Sacred Grove. Get rid of... Uh, chase down that Skull Kid dude. Across the Sacred Grove one more time. And yes, I realize his name is Skull Kid. From... My knowledge. Yeah, someone mentioned his name was Skull Kid. I haven't played the Zelda games in them too often. I remember trying uh, trying out a Zelda game for the first time some few years ago or something. I thought I wasn't good at the games, but it's just puzzle games, that's all. But Next time, I'm gonna have to chase that Skull Kid one more time after these enemies go away. So thanks for watching. This has been Drew Mario, and I'll see you in the next part.